I swear to God, I eat so much of my hair, man. Zoe, I'm gonna spank you like the dirty little bitch you are. I'm gonna spank you like the dirty little bitch you are, Zoe. I mean, exactly. Exactly, Zoe. Okay. One of the cola birdies has holed herself up at the management office on the seventh floor. I've seen her in her illusion sitting inside the room crying. Which one is the real one? I think it's because of the painting there. Whatever I was close to her, I felt like my mind was being assaulted by the image of that island. That sensation was strong enough to make me hurl. Is there a way to neutralize the transmission? Maybe some sort of feedback loop of the frequency of her control signal. Because we already did. Damn it. Would you fucking lock on? I lose a round because the fucking game refuses to lock on to fucking... Hunter? The fuck is Hunter? God damn it. God damn it, Bobby. That's my purse. <laughs> oh, you're doing the Bob the Bobby thing. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's my purse, and then he kicks you in the kicks them in the balls. <laughs> uh. That's my purse. Ball kick. That's my purse. I don't know you. Stupid. I still think my favorite episode of King of the Hill is when uh, Bobby makes the meth lab on accident and thinks he's making rock candy. <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, I don't know you. That's my purse. <laughs> yeah, because he went to like a... He goes to like a, uh, a, a, a woman's like defense course, right? 
Oh, dude, it is so good. Like he, like this troubled girl gets like brought to school, and then they have a science fair, and she tells them they're making candy, and they're really making meth. <laughs> Yeah. Where the fuck? Guys, my health that bad? Jesus, yes it is. A heavy box fashioned like to look like an owl. There are small holes at the top looking like a speaker or a microphone. Dude, the inventory in this game. Fuck, man. We need to go up to six. There we go. Preview experience of these replica models have given us insight into irregularities in their behavior that stem from the original neural patterns used for these units. Due to the sense of nature of this information, this document should be destroyed after reading. Star, despite their normally laid back demeanor, stars have a strong internal hierarchy, which is important to take into consideration when promoting units to officers. Not promoting a respected unit or promoting a unit low in status can lead to friction within dorms. Stars will occasionally develop in-group rules involving physical punishments. It is recommended to allow some officers to own military weapons as fetish, ob fetish objects to stabilize their persona. STCR, store... Storch units initially have a shorter temper. Training them in patience early after deployment was key as their neural pattern is less stable than other models. Failing to do so may yield an extremely violent, a volatile personality prone to cruelty and violence. A common strategy is pairing them closely with the older star unit. Storch's persona stabilizes by showing 
showering or bathing. Books on history or mythology work well as fetish objects. Have a good one, Zoe. Love your face, dear. Okay, we need an audio cassette then? Okay. God damn it. Out of fucking ammo, like inventory space yet again. Uh. What the fuck did that one come from? I need a fucking uh, inventory spot. Like, uh. God damn, man. I need to come back here, but Jesus, man. I, it really feels like they really fuck with you in this game. Uh, I like how they have the shining carpet. Nice. Okay. I'm in an inventory that I need, where I need to go somewhere. Um, duct tape. Uh, where do I need to go? Okay, 
what else is in here? Was there anything I missed in here? Oh, I didn't even go in there. Damn it. Damn it. Is there any fucking... Ugh. It's like the never-ending not having enough ammo or any uh, enough inventory space to fucking do anything without running around in circles first. So we want to get, we're going to get rid of that. Get rid of that. And okay, we're going to save it. Yeah, I know. I it's just that it's that thing where it's just like the stupid fucking inventory in this game, which I know they're they're it's very Resident Evil, which doesn't mean it's not frustrating when you're like, God damn it, you know? Because I know I can take this cassette and go play it in the in the whatever system. Okay. See, I knew that. Uh, so, I go down then. To the transmitter. And you need a wide berth to run around these guys, though. Like, because fuck. Their fucking swing distance, like, their reach is fucking huge. So we go up to 1.2. I mean, these guys' reach is pretty impressive. Which way do we want to go? Okay, let's go.
hummingbird tea. these fucking other keys coming from because I don't have any keys right now. I wonder if I... Okay. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I do not want to live anymore as what I have become. The red eye beyond the gate showed me. No, touch me, poison me. It feels like my mind has been contaminated, defiled by another person's memory. I'm no longer fully myself anymore, but I've not fully uh, become someone else either. I'm stuck here between her and me with half-formed dreams and recollections, penetrating my brain and tainting my every action. Who is she? Who is she? Who is that white-haired girl? Why do I long to see her again? Why would she curse me like this? Ah, what the f Yes! Interesting. So the, the music opened up the... A marvel of modern technology, the Colbra is the most capable bio rio sans unit ever produced. Mm. Keep an eye on Adler. He's hiding something from us. There was nothing in his diary, but when I probed his mind, there were memories of an LSTR unit working at Serif Pinsky. There's no record of the model of replica ever being deployed here. An order for a single unit for some survey work in the mine was briefly considered, but no new orders were made due to the commander's sickness. It's 186, right? Is it 80? Oh, it's 86.
Box. God damn it, back to you have no room for anything again, you motherfuckers. That, you only have six inventory slots. I hate the rule of six. Okay. I really don't care about these, but. Fuck, man. Okay. Now we can go there. I just want to go get that key again. The whole, like, oh, yeah, you can get rid of an item. And then we're going to fucking immediately fill back that item space. Now you get no item space. Definitely shotgun shells there. Someone remind me that those are there at some point when I have an inventory spot again, which may never happen, but. I've been fascinated by a peculiar piece of furniture I discovered in storage. A strange box with a removable dial on the front that was confiscated when a worker so from a worker some time ago. I was instantly drawn to it, though I'm not sure why. When I put my ear on the mechanism, I can hear it faintly clicking like a clock. Without Col Coley Bree's help, it, was, it has become much harder to coordinate the logistics cadre. If there's anything good to say about that woman, it, it is how she knows how to make others to respect her orders, but despite her minuscule uh, stature. I want I went to see her today, but her room is still locked. I had a dream tonight, another memory of my gestalt life, I believe. I was wearing my uniform. There was a young woman, her hair white as snow, and I was conducting some sort of test. I had a deck of cards with astronomical symbols on it and asked her to guess the planet of the card I was holding. I was playing it with the mechanical lockbox again, of which I am now sure is some kind of astronomical calendar, when I suddenly remembered a conversation I had with another replica when I was inspecting the mining site. However, it was clearly a model I have never seen before, some type of engineer with an orange chest piece. In my memory, she was just another member of our staff, but no such replica was ever stationed on Serpinski. Replica memory is not the most reliable, they say, but never before have I experienced such a strange phenomenon. The little enigma of that box could only distract me from the chaos around me for so long. All the box contained was a small notebook, of which all pages turned out to be blank. It has been miserable since our beloved commander has fallen ill. I long for her stern guidance, that overwhelming authority in which she bays a room. More sick, making my uh, work even harder. How are we meant to shoulder this workload with no reinforcements? My only con consolation is that our protector staff decreases, so does the workforce we oversee. While more and more replica end up in the hospital wing, 
Gestalt workers seem to succumb much too fast for any attempts at treatment. Another diary filled for no benefit but my own satisfaction. I am not ordered a new one set yet since I spent my saved uh, ration marks on the, that marvelous looking fountain pen, but I guess I'll make use of that notebook. <sighs> oh, I need that thing. That thing. Is there even an inventory box on this floor? No. God damn it. Uh, that thing, that thing, that thing. God damn it. That thing for the stuff, exactly. That thing for the stuff. Ugh. God, they're not enough fucking... Put... There should be inventory boxes on every floor, you stupid game. That thing, that thing, that thing. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Let us go and figure out. Ah. You cunt. Ugh. That thing, that thing, that thing. Okay. We're gonna go get that shotgun ammo. Start off. Doing that thing you do, doing that thing you do. Okay. That's everything back here. I don't even remember what movie we're talking about. Oh, I've never even seen that movie. I just know that song. That thing, that thing, that thing. Wasn't that the one about like the generic beetles or whatever? Oh, 
Oh. And then I didn't bring the thing back. I don't know. I love Tom Hanks, but I also am annoyed by Tom Hanks because Forrest Gump winning Best Picture still picks, pisses me off. Stupid item this time. But that's not it. Why did I think this was the... Uh, I'm a dumbass. If anyone would know that, it would be you, Nine. Giggity. That's not it. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing then. Where's this round thing I need? I need a library key. I wonder if we just go to the briefing room. I really don't know what they're expecting me from here to do from here. I don't get what, what are they expecting here? Um, where the fuck are po post boxes at?
so I am very confused now of where a post box is supposed to be. Maybe the shrine box? Run away! Run away! Post box. Oh, I had to go up to B6. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Let's go to B6. Mmm, pot roast. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, yummy. Okay. That's where it was, okay. See, I didn't realize these were fucking quote unquote. I had to go down to seven or eight, I should say. Let's go to the library. Let's go to the library. Classified information, commander eyes only. Previous experience with these replica models have given us insight into irregularities in their behavior that stem from the original neural patterns used for these units. Due to the sensitive nature of the information, this document should be destroyed after reading. The neural pattern is extremely stable. Little has uh, to be done to keep minas happy. They get along with most other models thanks to their sometimes submissive, sometimes motherly persona personality. Unlike other models, the Diary keeping is not mandatory for persona stabilization. Small stuffed animals may be given as fetish objects, though these resembling cats should be avoided as they may cause resurfacing gestalt memories. Adler units work best when left alone. They do not mix well with other their own type. They will usually become very emotionally dependent on their commander. Adlers are very susceptible to bioresonant suggestion, making them fairly easy to control. However, they become bored very easily and may need new fetish objects at regular intervals for stabilization. Who are you? You're not one of our staff.
Previous experience with this replica model has given us insight into irregularities. Okay. KLBR. Great care should be given to colibris. Their neural patterns are very unstable, and their bioresonance module makes them very susceptible to influence from others. Like most bioresonant individuals, colibris will often subconsciously create an emotional feedback loop, imitating and then broadcasting their emotions to those around them, acting as, some, as a sort of amplifier. While they are trained to recognize and disengage this behavior, already unstable units can sometimes spiral into persona degradation. Due to the, their bioresonant connection, neural pattern development in colibris varies less than in other models. The constant exchange of memories and emotions between units of cadre act as a safety net that buffers extreme changes. What's up, Mel? However, once a majority of units in a cadre degrade, they will drag remaining units down with them. Because of this, it is important to decommission colibri units instantly when they be begin to degrade. For, for, so, per, for persona stabilization, colibris should have access to a well-stocked library. How you doing, buddy? my Oh man, Mel. Your group does not does not fuck around, huh? I mean, I figured that out very very quickly, but <laughs> I had fun doing it, Mel. There we go. Um, where's the Adler's office? Oh, yeah, it's up there. Okay. I will, I will try at some point. I'm in the middle of figuring some other stuff out, but once I do... I've started yet another new diary. How time flies. The work is dull and monotonous. 
monotonous as monotonous as ever in Sierpinski, but a bright light illuminates my day. Today I was invited to a meeting by Commander Falk, and she was as magnificent as ever. Another passes, day passes. During my meeting with the commander today, I felt the strangest sensation of familiarity as I sat with her. Sadly, our meeting was interrupted by an unexpected power out outage. I've been feeling strangely paranoid these days. Never before have I felt so strongly the sensation of deja vu as I, as I have these past few days. When I checked, it to the, uh, checked the pages of my diary today, I noticed that for some in inexplicable reason, I seem to have dated my previous entries with today's date. What an embarrassing mistake. Every book feels a bit like I've lived it before, and even stronger is the sensation that something is somehow just slightly out of place. Why is my diary filled with entries I cannot recall writing? Why are they all dated to today? Has the loss of my beloved commander finally gotten to my mind? Am I going to insane? I fear what will happen to me if anyone finds out I am alone in this. If they discover my notes, I'll be decommissioned too. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Is this really madness? When I read the pages of my diary, I recall events that never happened. Yesterday, that never was, yet it feels as real as the only one, the one I actually experienced. This cannot merely be a defect in my mind. It feels as though in this room, I peer into another version of reality. How? I do not know. Perhaps I, too, have become sick like the others without realizing, but I will not succumb. A slow accumulation of reproduction errors, a gradual corruption of information, a story misremembered, slowly morphing with each retelling, like genetic material mutating and evolving, like the replica mind copied over and over from an aging template. I do not know, but I will find out. The answers lie below. I can feel it. Someone or something calls me from there in the mind. He's talking about the green stuff, Mel. The green stuff. The green stuff. The marijuana. What did I have? What kind of card was it? Yeah. Let's go get that mind jab, dude. Get it. I know you're here. I'm enjoying it. The the fucking aiming sucks dick, but I've done this countless times before. You don't belong here. I like the atmosphere. I like the weird oddities of it. It, it kind of reminds me of like Dead Space and Resident Evil had a baby. Wouldn't I be like as an android like mapping this shit? 
Monofiber will effortlessly cut through limbs and equipment at, in an instant. Always wear protective clothing. Do not touch monofiber without proper protective gear. Only handle in brightly lit places. Ah, hello. You're not a protector, are you? What brings you here? I'm Bio. If you're down here, you're probably looking for something. I'd help you, but one of my hydraulics failed and I can't move. I'm pretty much done for, so you can just leave me here. There's no point repairing an old unit like me, so don't worry about it, okay? It'd be a waste of resources. I'd offer you my mining laser, but I don't think your frame could supply the power output. You're probably better off using a gun. There should be something, uh, some useful equipment in the mining office. It's just south of here. Don't worry about being there. Many replace it. We're just replicas after all, right? In the end, what's one drop to an ocean? When I die, they'll just make another. Thank you for talking to me. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay. The no map thing is kind of annoying for this game. Not gonna lie. Okay. Okay, okay. It's worse than I thought. Everyone has disappeared. I haven't found I still haven't found any trace of Elster. It's as if she had never been here. Something's wrong with the protectors. Those that are still around. A guard spotted me earlier sneaking out of the medical wing, and she let out a monstrous scream as she chased after me. When I looked back I saw her face and now I can't forget. It looked like She's been in some horrible accident. It's like that weird feeling where it's like, you go, I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of ammo, don't have a lot of resources, like, or uh, slots to carry resources. So you're just like, I'm gonna carry whatever gun I have and go with it. Why don't I have a map, you motherfuckers? Okay, man, I'll have fun, buddy. <sighs> the whole no map thing is just a kind of a pain in the ass. It's official.
I think I'm gonna die and wrap up the stream for today. I'm beat. It's been a long week. Ugh. <sighs> I'm enjoying this game though. It seems like uh, right up my alley. 